It seems that a lot of a startup's success is contingent on the people that an entrepreneur knows. If you have the right connections, you can build the right channel partnerships, you can get the right investors. And then the key question becomes, how do you meet these amazing people? And a lot of the first line answers all lead to networking events, mixers, pitch nights, seminars, discussions, many different people host them. Uh, they can be schools, VCs, other accelerators. I don't like them. I get up at 5 a.m. in the morning and by 5.30 p.m. when these events start, usually they start even later, I've been working for 12 hours and I want to be alone. So, she hates them more than you would imagine. Yes. They are the big event of the week when we have to go to one. And maybe as someone who's sitting watching videos on YouTube, you too are not as <sighs> social or outgoing as some um, other people and might like some tips on surviving these events. So when I met Malcolm, he gave me a lot of tips on making it through these events. And one of his best tips was to play them like a game. So you enter your networking event and your goal is to acquire X business cards and learn X names. And knowing that has actually made it a lot easier for me to go to these events because as soon as I've achieved my goal, I can leave. <sighs> and oh my God, does it not only make me less awkward and aimless trying to stand in a corner and just not throw up, uh, it makes me much more outgoing and driven because I'm like, oh my God, hi, Bob. Oh, I want to, you know, let's get in touch. Can I have your business card? And I'm walking away and I'm like, I'm one business card closer to leaving. But Bob thinks that I was genuinely interested in him. And I mean, I, I, I am, I find people interesting, but my social anxiety um. diminishes that. Anyway, consider treating networking events like a game. It's one way to survive them.